Hey everybody, this is Josh. Um, some of you might know I'm a migraine sufferer. Um, used to have a lot of migraines when I was a kid. Um, even when I was in the military, I had a lot of migraines. Uh, they used to give me a Sudafed, thinking that would fix it. Of course, it never did. Um, they would say, oh, you're dehydrated. No, I wasn't. Uh, when I got out, they started giving me Sumatriptan. My, my family doctor did. Seemed like it helped a lot. They always came in little packs of nine. They still do. Um, and I always had, always had more than 10 migraines. And the reason I know that is because I always had one or two migraines that I uh, wouldn't have any pills for. And I just have to suffer through it. And I just stay in bed with ice on my head and covers over my head. And, you know, uh, sometimes I wear earplugs, you know, because it just hurts so badly. And I was reading an article, and they said that um, a lot of times migraine sufferers are deficient in, in a vitamin. And so I thought, oh, well, maybe that's, maybe that's my problem. Maybe I need to take a vitamin of some kind. And so what I did was I um, found some magnesium, and that was one of the things they mentioned. A, a big, uh, large portion of migraine sufferers are deficient in magnesium, and they're also deficient in vitamin B. Uh, I think it was B12, I think, riboflavin. Anyway, um, so I went and got a vitamin B complex, and I got a, a magnesium. I took the vitamin B, and it helped a little bit, and then I added in the magnesium. And um, I'm down to now where... Um, um, those nine pills I get every month, I only have to get them refilled every every couple months, two, two and a half months. So my migraines are down quite a bit. Uh, I've cut them at least in half, if not a little bit more. So I have probably about three or four migraines every month now, down from about 11 or 12. And I'm not saying this is going to work for you. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a scientist or anything. I'm just, um, you know, I'm not a neurosurgeon or neuro whatever. I'm just, I'm just saying this is just my experience. I pass it along. Maybe it'll help you. Maybe it won't. My grandpa had uh, a lot of migraines when he was younger, and um, he um, seems to have outgrown most of them, he said, um, you know, as he's gotten older. But um, <coughs> he started taking a vitamin C, and that really cut his migraines down quite a bit. So it's not necessarily one thing or the other. It's just one of the things you've got to try. And don't go and try to get, my opinion, don't go and try to get magnesium and vitamin C and vitamin B and take them all at once, because then you won't know which one is which, which one's really helping. So... Um, take one for a while. If it doesn't help, then try another one. If it doesn't help, try another one and, you know, figure out what you're deficient in. Of course, there's always the triggers out there. Mine is, one of my big triggers is um, Chinese and pizza after about 7 or 8 o'clock. I can't eat it because next day I know I'm going to be sick. And I don't know if it's just all the salt in it or it's the MSG or what it is, but for some reason when I eat Chinese, if I eat pizza late at night, anything after like 8 o'clock, 7.30, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, somewhere in there, I'm sicker than a dog the next day with horrible migraine. I've got to take sumatriptan and everything and um, hope it works. And sometimes it doesn't work. Um, you know, if you're addicted to caffeine, of course, you're going to have headaches. And that's not a migraine, folks. It's just a caffeine withdrawal. And uh, I know a lot of people, oh, I didn't drink caffeine today. Oh, I have a migraine. You don't have a migraine. You have a, you're having a withdrawal from just like you would from any other drug. But <clears throat> anyway, um, just something to try. Like I said, I'm not a doctor. I'm not claiming to be a doctor not giving you medical advice. I'm just saying this is my experience. It's something that helped me. You might want to try it. <clears throat> um, it might not work. Stay away from your triggers. You know, a lot of chocolate, a lot of red wine, a lot of, um, <clears throat> with me, it's Chinese and pizza after a certain time. Um, you know, if I drink a lot of caffeine the next day, I, I don't feel well, and that's because I'm having withdrawals. But, um, you know, just um, try to figure it out. Um, but like I said, with me, a big help with me was magnesium and a vitamin B complex every day. It seems like it really cut, cut it down to about anywhere from a half to a third. So uh, somewhere in between there. So um, good luck.